So, Microsoft. I'm going to turn down my volume so nothing interrupts this. What do I have to say? Let's hold on. Can I zoom out? There we go. What do I have to say? As soon as that happens, my phone buzzes. Okay. <clears throat> um. So yeah, I've been I've been kind of excited about this Microsoft thing. So I watched it. This new reveal of the Xbox One, our new Microsoft console. Whew. I don't know what to say. Um, just what they showed didn't impress me. Um, they're talking about you can switch back and forth constantly. Like everyone's making the ADHD joke. Um, here's the thing: if I want to watch TV while I'm playing a game, if I want to switch, I have a remote control and I can switch that way. I don't need to scream at the TV. Because first of all, that's if you're watching something and playing a game. It's going to be really confusing to your friend, to the people you're playing with, because they're going to be playing, and all you're going to hear is either cuss words or Xbox TV, Xbox TV, Xbox. Da, da, da. It's going to get annoying, I bet. But maybe they'll have a functionality with the controller, which looks pretty cool, I guess. The D pad actually looks like it'll function. Um, but now that it's ended, the really good news is coming out. Um, no backwards compatibility. I mean, that's okay. I mean, the PS4 isn't going to have backwards compatibility, so it's not too shocking. But, um, you put the game in. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this Here's a little thing. So, you buy a game at GameStop. You're not too sure about it. It's been a couple years since it came out. It's like 18 bucks. Yeah. Um, buy it. Um, put it in. Now, pay 20 more dollars or however much. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is now used games you have to pay a fee to play used games to you Microsoft that just uh I'm not gonna go into details about the presentation I just thought it was very boring they didn't show me anything I was excited about I bet some people were excited about the people who like sports and Call of Duty that one group um, were pretty happy but for the people who like to play more than just those kinds of games a good percentage of gamers were unimpressed um halo the tv show okay <laughs> that's fine that's that's cool um i don't really care i mean yeah i like halo but tv show Meh. um but i'll just be honest it after that i was just and now that i'm getting this other news i just feel angry like I know this sounds crazy, but I actually feel like going out and buying the new the Nintendo Wii U because <laughs> I'm just so oh just I guess I was expecting too much, and I know E3 is right around the corner, so yeah, we got that to look forward to. But show something, you know? It's just and to end like they did, being like oh I won't even go into detail about how they ended it. It's just oh. Those aren't the best fans in the world. I'll tell you that right now. And if you were watching, you get what I'm talking about. Um, but they showed what they were showing. They showed the new COD, the new Call of Duty, and then they ended it. And that was it. That was there was. It felt short. That was the thing. It felt like it just came and went. Nothing. The only thing that surprised me was the name Xbox One. Now. I, if they're going for the Xbox One, like, oh, we won, then that is the stupidest name I've ever heard. But if they're just going for Xbox, what do we call the, what do we call the original Xbox now? I mean, with PlayStation, at least they went PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. It made sense. Why go Xbox 361? Maybe they've fallen into the reboot system. Where instead, where like Thief, like what they did with Thief, don't call it Thief Four, just call it Thief. Um, they're just they're getting rid of calling it um three or whatever Infinity or um Seven Twenty. They're just going back to one. They're saying it's a reboot. That's what it is, and that's why you can't play the old games. It's because it's like the old games never existed. It all makes sense. 